Nah, I'm just fucking you guys around doing that shit again. What's going on you guys? Hope you're all having a great day today. Uh, welcome back to the channel. In the last video you guys saw me put the ISR catch can on the car, um, trying to track down some issues with the vacuum leak um, and kind of like hesitation on throttle. So hopefully that fixed it. Um, I haven't driven the car since actually. Kind of a winter project obviously as you can tell. Today's video, instead of installing the turbo, that's gonna be I think the next one. But in today's video, we're actually gonna be unboxing a few things for the interior of the car, and then that's it. I said earlier that the interior of the car, it was gonna be kind of the project for this winter, <laughs> and then a couple things came up, and I kinda just pulled the trigger on them. Um, this, what I have right here, is a $45 steering wheel, actually, from Volante, or Volant, um, however you say it. Um, I'll put their info in the description below, but they are actually currently doing a $45 steering wheel sale. Um, it's a mystery sale as well, so I don't know I don't know what steering wheel is in here, um, which is why I waited to unbox it. I actually just got it today, but I wanted to wait to open this until I was able to get the camera set up and everything, so I have not seen this either yet. Um, everything's still taped up. Um, I'm going to open this up. Depending on what's in here, depending on what the wheel looks like, um, I do have the Vertex wheel for the 240, but depending on what this wheel looks like, I might actually just throw it in the STI. So if it's like white, I think I'm gonna throw it in the STI, but we'll see. I like my Vertex wheel, but it is 330 mil and it's suede, so it gets pretty dirty. Um, I don't know, so I guess we'll just see what's in here and then we'll decide which car to put it on. Honestly, it's kind of cool being able to choose. So $45 though, plus shipping. Uh, I think shipping was like 30, 35 bucks, but still, I mean, 75, 80 bucks for a steering wheel. So that's pretty cool. So without further ado, let's just get right into opening this bad boy up and see what we got here. All right, <laughs> here we go. I don't know if this is what's in here. Okay, okay. All right, so we got a box inside a box. Sweet. Okay, I'm opening it upside down. Hold on. Okay, here we go. It's white, dude. It's white and black. Let's go. That's actually so sick. Hell yeah. Dude. That's so nice. Honestly, for 45 bucks, man. 45 slash 70 because of shipping. But, dude. That is badass. Horn button and everything. Let's go. I oof, I think it might I think it might go in the STI, honestly. The STI is like white with uh, black accents and stuff, so this might go in the STI. That might be a video for later, but this thing is sick, dude. The white's gotta go for the STI for sure on this one. For sure. So, a little bit of story about these seats, and it's actually really cool. So, these seats, NRG Prisma seats, and I know NRG's like eh, a little controversial topic, I suppose, but I won these seats for $50, two seats with brackets for $50. I actually won these on a raffle on a page called GS Drift Deals on Facebook. So GS Drift Deals does raffles for like parts, uh, seats, vertex steering wheels, a um, bunch of random different parts. They'll do like a $2,000 gift card to any of the companies that they vend through. Um, and then they do up to full on cars. So they'll do cars like I think once a month or so. I mean, we're talking like $25,000 cars and people are winning these things for like $85. But basically this page has like 11,000 people in it. They run parts like, oh, I wanna say like almost daily, if not every other day. And then every month or so they'll do cars. They'll do like, um, they'll do like built M3s, they'll do a lot of 240s, which is cool because those go fast. Um, in like three, four hours, some of these cars fill up. There's like 280 spots on most of these cars at like $85 a pop. So kind of like everybody in the community comes together, puts money down, and then one lucky person, you know, it only takes one spot to win, you'll win a badass car, in this case, two seats that pretty much, I think these value at probably around 1,000, 1,100, I believe they're like 500 before shipping each. Um, so I actually won these for two spots, which at the time it was $25 a spot. Uh, I bought two of them, so 50, and I believe there was 60 spots. So it was like a 3% chance, but I just threw it down. Uh, I actually ended up winning them, and then they came like three days later. So I waited to unbox them. So 
Um, they come with the rails. The bricks is probably gonna come out and I'm, I might just sell it, I don't know. I didn't really see myself finding another bricks one anytime soon. So anyway, let's just get into it. Let's unbox these and then we'll see. We could probably throw them in the car, but it's getting late. So we'll see how much daylight we got. So because this one sits too high, my head is pretty much hitting the roof of the car, so I'm gonna have to find out a different solution, whether or not that's getting different side mount um, brackets, or I don't know, I guess I could run the brick seat um, for the driver, and then I definitely need to find something to do for the passenger seat. So I'll probably buy a bracket for the passenger seat. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna take care of is the seats. Um, I have a planted bracket for this seat, but in the car right now we have the energy seat with the planted bracket, so we need to get that out of the car. So we'll pull this one out of the car, steal the bracket off that, and put it on the bride bricks, get the bricks in here, and then the passenger one will leave for now until the bracket comes in. So let's get this one out and fit the bracket up to the bricks and get the bricks back in here like originally planned, and then we will go from there. Swap the planted bracket from this uh, NRG seat over to the bricks, and we'll get the bricks in the car. Now that the bricks is back in the car mounted and ready to go, we'll leave this passenger one in until we can get the bracket for it and then we'll see how that goes. I'd still like to find a match for this uh, bricks, but ideally this will this will work for now. That is way better than the burnt S14 seat. This was the S14 seat that was in the car. Um, that bottom cushion it has seen some better days. Um, I went ahead and wired these in, not really a whole lot to it, using the stock like connectors and old harness and then splicing these in with connectors. Um, right now they do blink fast, so right now I'm going to go check to see if it is a fuse because all the bulbs work, uh, front and back, but they blink fast, so I think I thought they were getting like too little or too much voltage, but we're going to check the fuse and go from there. All right, so as far as the type X position lights, the turn signals, the only thing that's different is I have different sockets for these um, from the type X like harness or whatever. And then I have the type X tail lights. Um, all the bulbs are fine. I checked the fuses, the fuses are all fine. So I'm not sure, but they're blinking fast, all of them. Um, if you have any input, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, we're just gonna keep moving on. I don't have a lot of time for that right now. So we're gonna figure that out. Now we're gonna get the rear bumper back on the car and I think what I'm gonna do is take off that rear valence underneath the taillights and screw that into the bottom of the bumper so that it holds it up nice and tight without having bumper sag in the rear because that's a big problem with these cars. So. off the garnish drilled in um, I used four self tappers and two zip ties um, it actually looks really good on the middle segment of the bumper but on the ends it kind of has a little bit of a gap right there um, the body lines on the side aren't too bad but this will do for now um, I got the license plate all on and everything um, I'm actually gonna be relocating the car to a new storage space pretty soon so that will probably be in the next video or the one after that now that we got the bumper on and fastened in place, the other and the last thing that we're gonna do is wrap these B pillars. Uh, they are a little faded. Let's see how bad this one is. This one's actually not as bad, I don't think, but they're kind of that black faded plastic and so I decided to get some just plain black gloss wrap and we're gonna wrap those 
and then that will do it for today's video. Just to prep these, we're not gonna really gonna do too much. We're just gonna wipe this down with some isopropyl and then uh, get it nice and clean. And then we'll lay down that wrap. And really, honestly, this doesn't look that bad, but it is just faded. It's something that bothers me a little bit. I wanna make sure it looks like nice and brand new. So, in wraps. Wraps really cheap, so it cost me like, I don't know, 15 bucks to do both sides or something like that, so. We got our two pieces cut and uh, we got our little surface here prepped. I'm just gonna throw these pieces down real quick. I'll probably tuck this side and then tuck this as best I can and then just cut, cut, pull the excess off and then uh, I'll show you guys when I'm done. gonna do it for today's video you guys um, thank you for watching um, getting the 240 all buttoned up and kind of ready to go next upload is definitely gonna be the turbo and uh, injectors kind of getting it ready for a tune uh, so that we can actually drive this tank thing we got a couple steps closer to getting this thing kind of officially on the road and I'll put back together so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one